Gentlemen, start your engines. It's art time! With Mr. Mayberry. Let's get busy! Welcome to Art Time with Mr. Mayberry. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a tractor from the front. So let's get started. It's time to make some art. I have my paper turned horizontal and I'm just using a regular pencil to draw. I'm going to start in the center of the paper making a tall rectangle. You can use a ruler to make your edges straight. Today I'm just freehand drawing. Inside of this rectangle I'm going to make a smaller rectangle. The band at the top I want it to be a little wider and the same with the, at the bottom. I'm going to extend this line here on the outside on both the left and the right and this is going to show us where the top edges of the tires are. I'm going to extend the outside edge of the rectangle down below going to be building the axle for the front tires. Let's make a second line here that's shorter than the line above it. Then we make a vertical line here and one here. Okay, we're going to draw a line here that goes to the right and across from that on the outside, one that goes to the left. And then below that, the same width as this line, these two have been so far, the same width apart, we're going to make where the axle attaches to the tire on either end, either side. And then make the corners curve here. And here. Let's go back up to the top and put a curve on these two corners as well. Okay, next is the front tire, and since the axle is in the center of the tire, we want to put the same amount of space below the tire as what is above the tire. So I'm going to start here, make a line that goes is vertical for the right edge of this tire, and it's going to extend down below the axle, the same as, or pretty close to the same as what's above. I can use my pencil as a guide here. So about that far. Same thing over here. Okay, and this, the left edge of this tire is straight up and down right here and goes down that far. The outside of the tire, well, it's going to be about, the tire will be about this wide, so I'm going to make the outside edge of the tire here and over here. So they should be about the same width. I want to change the top and the bottom and make a little bit of a curve, the top and the bottom of the tire. Let's go ahead and draw the ground. So we can draw a line that goes all the way across the page. So 
So our tractor will be sitting on the ground. Okay, the middle of the back tire is going to be in line with the edge of the front tire. So I'm going to make a line straight up, very light, that extends all up higher. And we'll find the top of that in just a second. So just straight up. Okay, the inside of the tire on the back is going to be not exactly halfway on the front tire, but it's going to be more to the inside of half. So we'll make a second vertical line here. It shows where the inside of the tire is. Again, we'll adjust the height of that in just a second. So I'm doing this very light so that I can erase when we figure out where the top is going to be. Okay, now the outside of the tire in the back is going, we're going to have the same width from the inside to the middle as from the middle to the outside. So I want to come over about the same width and draw another vertical line all the way from the ground. So it's equal space between the outside, the middle, and the middle, and the inside. Same thing over here. Next, let's make the headlights. And they're going to be even with the top of the front of the tractor here. And I'm going to make a circle on either side. One there and one here. I'd have to make some adjustments to get them to be about the same size. I'm going to race inside the circles. Okay, in the middle I'm going to make a smokestack. Let's make it about that wide. And we'll go up about that high and then put a line across. This is a lower portion of the smokestack. And then another section that's narrower inside of that. And this will carry the smoke above the driver. Uh, this tractor doesn't have a cab on it, so this particular model is going to have the smokestack like this so that the smoke goes up above the driver. The circle at the top, this is a cap that covers the exhaust pipe here and it flips up when the smoke's coming out. You can go ahead and make some smoke coming out if you want. Next I want to draw the steering wheel. I'm going to start above the edges of this inside rectangle and make a line that arcs across and from one side to the other. Make it a little wider. Two more lines, one here and one here. I want to make the back tires a little taller than this where the steering wheel is so I'm going to find that spot and make a curve across. Do that on the other side in the same location. Right across from it. And then we can erase all of the lines above that.
Next I want to draw a guard that, like a fender that protects the driver from any kind of dirt that might come off of the back tire, flip off of the back tire. And so I'm going to make it not all the way to the edge of the light here, but I want to go up from that light up above the tire. Let's do that on both sides, almost to the edge of where the headlight is. And then we're going to make a line that curves in and then goes straight down like that. And again, this is kind of a fender that protects the driver from any kind of debris coming off of the tire. Can erase that inside of that. Okay, down below here I'm going to make a line. This is the top of the axle of the tire, the back tires. And then that fender is going to slant down to that axle from the outside and the line from above will go straight down here on the inside. So again, from the outside, it's going to slant in, and from above on the inside, it's going to go straight down. But it stops right where that ax axle line is. Next, let's make a seat for the driver. I'm going to go for up from the edge of the steering wheel on either side. And the seat is going to be below this part of the smokestack. The top edge will be curved. Now we're going to add some texture to different elements of the tractor. I want to shade in the back tires. You still want to be able to see that middle line, so don't make it too dark. Then I'm going to shade in the front tires. And I want to shade in this rectangle in the center where the grill is going to be. Okay, at this point it's a good idea to go back and darken my outside lines. can see them better. Starting in the center, I'm working out. I'm going to make the grill first. I think what I'll do is make an X across here. And then I'm going to make lines that are parallel with that, going either direction. Next, let's add the tire tread. In the back, I'm going to keep it fairly simple, but I want to make a v, like a curved V. It goes from the outside to that center line that we had earlier. Then I'm going to leave space between these lines and, and keep making Vs. I can make that line a little darker down the middle and keep making these Vs, these curved Vs all the way down, about the same space apart.
Same thing on the other side. The front tire, the tread is going to be straight lines. Just space them out evenly. And one last thing, I'm going to lightly draw a grid on the headlights. So two vertical lines and then two horizontal lines. They can even be curved a little if you'd like. Clean up your drawing. Add color if you'd like. And that's our project for today. A tractor from a front view. If you'd like to show me the tractor that you've made, check out the contact information below. Well, thanks for coming to the art room. I'll see you next time. I'll see you later. Hi, bye. This project was inspired by a fourth grade buddy of mine. Thanks, Jim, for teaching me how to draw tractors. <laughs>